I'm Corey Weatherton, Director of Product Development for Integra Coach. Excited to show you today the brand new Integra Coach Odyssey SE. Now this floor plan is the 22C, in case you're wondering when we get inside and you fall in love with it. So the Odyssey SE is our base trim level. We have the Odyssey SE, the Integra Coach Odyssey, and the Integra Coach Esteem. This unit is built on the Ford E350 chassis. It's a great chassis. Uh, we have just gotten into this chassis. Uh, other products we're building on the E450 chassis. Now, when we get this chassis in from Ford, we install rubber isolation mounts on both sides of the uh, front and rear of the rear axle. We wanna do that to reduce road noise and vibration. One of the hallmarks to all of Integra Coach units is this one-piece fiberglass front cap. There is a horizontal seam right here that we have covered up that none of our competitors do. Our wall goes all the way to the front of the cap, the bunk platform comes all the way to the edge, and there's a seam there that we've covered it up. Why did we cover up? Because that is a notorious leak point on any Class C. Now you may read some literature from other manufacturers that say they have a fiberglass front cap. It's not as comprehensive as ours. Theirs only comes about a third of the way back and is more for aesthetic purposes. This seam, as I said, the notorious leak point is still fully exposed on theirs. This front cap, the concept is not proprietary to us. The design is anybody could do it, but they choose not to. Why do they choose not to? Because they wanna save themselves money and sell you a lower cost unit. But we want to protect your investment because we value your investment here at Integra Coach. And because of that, we also give you a two plus three warranty. This is the best in the industry for a class C. Everybody else in the industry has a simple one year limited warranty. Uh, you have one camping season and then you go to winterize it. When you get it out again, your warranty's done. At Integra Coach, we give you two complete camping seasons to protect your investment. I firmly believe we build a notch above everybody else. That's why we give you a two-year warranty. That one-piece fiberglass front cap, our front overhead bunks are rated at 750 pounds when the industry average is only about 450. We are over-engineering this thing and building it to a higher standard to protect your investment because we value that investment. Um, a three-year structural warranty on top of that. Also on this chassis, we are adding the cat strap. The cat strap is a catalytic, uh, <laughs> catalytic converter theft deterrent. And that catalytic converter theft deterrent, we started adding a couple years ago to reduce your downtime uh, in camping and then also on the dealer's lots. You come in, you love it, and they say, I'm sorry, you can't deliver it. Uh, simply because uh, the catalytic converter's gone, we've prevented that, we've protected that uh, because we want you to utilize this as much as possible. A great coach for you at a great value. Moving back, we have a 30,000 BTU uh, furnace inside of this coach. So bumper to bumper, we are 24 feet, eight inches long on this Ford chassis, enough heat inside of there to keep you warm in those colder climates and those later fall and early spring camping seasons. A six gallon gas electric hot water heater. I love that because it has a rapid recovery mode. If I, I can burn in uh, just LP or utilize my 30 amp shore power or generator to, uh, to provide electricity, or I can use both propane and electricity, and it goes into rapid recovery mode. So though it's six gallons, I could technically use approximately 18 gallons of hot water in an hour. And if you're a seasoned camper, you know that generally when you're camping, you can serve water. Uh, so six gallons is a lot for a shower, let alone 18 gallons is just an abundance of water. You will notice that we have a full length awning on the side of this coach. It does have LED accent lights for you to be able to uh, provide the ambiance at night, or even just general lighting as you're sitting out at the picnic table after you've uh, grilled your food and it's time to just relax for the night. Maybe you're playing cards. That LED light will definitely provide you some nice ambient light outside of this coach. Continuing to move back, you will notice that uh, the front compartment is going to be LP. Uh, these rear compartments are storage compartments and uh, there is ample storage inside of this coach despite it being a small unit. Uh, we do option solar on the roof of this. Now remember that's optional. It is a 200 watt uh, solar panel and if you option the 200 watt solar panel you get a dual controller meaning you are going to be able to uh, provide solar charge to your house batteries because when you option solar you get two house batteries. 
or also your chassis battery. So that's an option. A lot of folks are optioning that simply because as this unit sits idle at your house, it really helps maintain your batteries and prevents premature battery replacement on this coach. Also on this side of the coach, you will see we have a coax cable hookup. If you wanna watch television out here, then also a 120 volt outlet. Moving around to the rear of the coach, you'll notice a LP quick connect. That's gonna be standard on all of our units if you wanna utilize the gas grill uh, outside. And then also you will notice that we have our standard brake lights and unique with Integra Coach, we have a third brake light over and above the rear backup camera. We provide that rear uh, uh, third brake light simply because if you are towing with this coach, at times your lower lights will be obstructed. We wanna make sure there's safety and whoever's traveling behind you will be able to stop in time uh, so that you're not getting in an accident. So that's been the outside of this Integra Coach 22C Odyssey SE. Let's go inside the coach and check it out. So we are inside the Integra Coach Odyssey SE 22C, and I really think when you get to the dealer's lot, you're gonna love it. This is the Ford E350 chassis, as I said. Everything from the seats forward is going to be stock OE Ford, so we won't talk much about that. As I mentioned, outside a 750 pound front overhead bunk rating, will 750 pounds ever be up there? Probably not, maybe so if you use it for storage, uh, but we do give you that added peace of mind that it, it is engineered to 750 pounds. You'll notice also in the front bunk area, we do have a 32 inch smart TV. I love these smart TVs because in this day and age, uh, you're not really, most folks aren't watching a lot of, of local channels. Uh, at the same time, if you want to, you can because we have a King Jack antenna on the roof. Uh, but if you wanna stream to this, totally able to stream and keep up on your favorite series if, if that's what you're into. Moving back to the dinette, we have a seat belt in every seating position. In the industry, did you know that's a rarity? A lot of folks are building motorhomes with only seat belts in the forward facing dinette. We put them in the rear facing dinette as well because if this coach can can move six people, we want it to seat belt all six people. We don't wanna have to Flip the coin to see who gets a seat belt and who doesn't. So seat belts in every seating position. Uh, what I love about that, as I said, it is safety. We're giving that to you. And we're not just putting those in this coach willy-nilly wherever we want to. In order for us to install these, if it's a single seat belt bracket, it has to withstand 5,000 pounds of pull for 60 seconds. If it's a dual bracket, uh, the national government requires us to withstand 10,000 pounds of pull for 60 seconds. So we are doing safety testing on all of this. We are mounting it into steel and we are giving you a safe coach. Mounting it into steel, I should mention that our roof, our walls, our floors, they're all vacuum bonded. Vacuum bonded means we, we stick it into a vacuum press and that vacuum is 144 tons of pressure for 16 to 18 minutes, depending on what we are uh, vacuum bonding. Most folks aren't doing that. We have our own lamination department that is uh, temperature and humidity controlled. So we are getting a solid lamination every time. Every time we cut out a window, we do a delamination test to make sure we have a solid lamination throughout. And I can tell you with our own facility, this temperature and humidity controlled, we do get that. If by chance we were to get a poor batch of glue or, or maybe the machine malfunctions. If we do that DLAM test and, and the wall does not shred as we'd, as we'd like to see it shred, uh, that wall will be recycled and we'll build a new wall for the coach. So we're, even though this is our base trim level, we are building this thing exactly like we build our Integra Coach Esteem. Same walls, same floor, same construction method, and we're making sure that you have a longevity and a duration to be able to use this coach. We also give you the legless dinette. I love the legless dinette. Uh, we switched to this probably four years ago or so. The other style we were using before, there was a lever here. You turn the lever and then you push it down. The problem with that is with time, uh, it would be in the up locked position. You'd put your elbows on this table and it'd drop down maybe an inch. It requires continual adjustment. With this legless dinette that we have, very simple to use. It's securely locked uh, on the wall. I simply lift the end and then take my backhand and pivot it down. Once the, it's all the way down, the tension is off of that gas strut and I'll go ahead and slide my seat cushions over that to turn it into a sleeping position. As I put it up, it locks back into the bracket on the wall and is secure extremely nice. You will notice 
a full bank of overhead cabinets above this massive window in the 22C. Plenty of storage for your board games. Uh, potentially you need more kitchen storage. It can spill over into this area and it is absolutely beautiful, the cabinetry we're using this year, and a lot of storage. So this has been the front of the coach. Let's turn around and allow me to show you the back end of the coach. Now, as we're in the back of this motorhome, we're kind of in the living area at this point. So I already touched on the fact we have a 30,000 BTU furnace, uh, that six gallon gas electric hot water heater, but this also has a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. What I love about that is on a 24 foot, eight inch coach, we have plenty of cooling power inside of this. So in the summer months, as you're camping, you'll stay nice and cool and it is fully ducted. Moving over to the kitchen, we have a two burner gas cooktop. It is uh, it has a glass cover, so you are able to set uh, different pots and pans or even uh, salad bowls as you're prepping for food, but a very nice large sized two burner gas cooktop. Also, what I love about this coach, absolutely love it. And if you're unfamiliar with a convection microwave, do some Googling, uh, get on YouTube and check out how to use a convection microwave. What I love about this guy here is for Thanksgiving, I can put a Cornish game hen in here. I can make breakfast uh, in this thing and it functions just like a normal stove uh, oven, I should say. But the difference is you get even heating all throughout whatever it is you're baking inside of that. You not only get even heating, but if we were to have a liquid propane oven in this coach, every time I turn that oven on, it functions kind of like a furnace. It's emitting so much heat that it's really uh, fighting against your air conditioner in the summer months. And so we've given you this convection microwave and I get if you're unfamiliar with it, you may be a little bit cautious, but I would encourage you, Google it. They are great. They're easy to cook in. You can learn very easily and uh, you'll get the hang of it, I promise. You'll notice that we do have a nice large sink. It is a round sink for inside of, of this smaller coach. Um, we have given you that single bowl sink simply because we do know that a lot of you guys are rinsing stuff off um, beforehand, uh, outside potentially, but then you're able to do your dishes and then rinse off with your water as well. Uh, there is ample storage in this size of a coach in the kitchen area. You do have your overhead uh, cabinet space down below your sink. You have another cabinet and then uh, four nice drawers uh, in my kitchen area with a, over the over the cooktop range vent as well. Moving across the coach, we do have nice pantry area. A lot of shelves inside of this guy to be able to put your, your boxes of cereal, your cans of soup, and then even all of your spices. So a lot of storage inside of this small coach. And, it, and surprisingly, it does feel very open. Over, we, over on my right hand side, we've got a 12 volt, 10 cubic foot refrigerator. So plenty of room inside of the refrigerator for all of your milk, your fresh uh, foods, your freezer, plenty of room for uh, your frozen veggies. You're never gonna be uh, having to run out of food just because we have a lot of room for your fresh food storage. The bathroom inside of this coach, very nicely sized for a 24 foot coach. You'll notice a very large medicine cabinet as well as storage below your, your sink, your lav sink. And then also, unlike some of our competitors, we're not using a plastic sink or even a plastic faucet. Rather, these are stainless to provide you longevity and a nice sliding retractable shower door. Uh, so it's all the way open for you to easy get in and then close off is super simple as well. Coming back into the bedroom, you will notice right beside your bed, a very, very large uh, wardrobe area with two banks of drawers down below. I love that simply because this is probably gonna be a one or two person coach. And for two people, we have given you definitely ample storage. A walk around bed, a walk around bed, you know, we're not doing a corner bed in this floor plan. If you love the corner beds, we do give you our 22A floor plan, but this is a nice walk around bed. And then the uh, cool thing is we've got reading lights. I push it once and I get a nice blue light very dim, you could read with that, or potentially um, you don't, <laughs> I have reading glasses, full transparency. The blue light is great uh, just to be able to walk around uh, for a night light, but then uh, when I need to read with my reading glasses, I'll go ahead and turn on uh, this uh, bright white light. So beautiful there. You'll notice also overhead, we do have nice storage within this coach. Um, we do have complete pass-through once you're inside of there. So you can put larger 
larger uh, objects inside of this coach uh, in your overhead cabinets. Plenty of room for bedspreads, plenty of room uh, for additional clothing if they do not fit in your wardrobe and then also your drawers. You will notice as well a large egress window in the rear. By law, just to give you a heads up, we are not allowed to put a screen in this window, nor can we put struts on this window. So I wanna point that out because a lot of times we get the question, why don't we have a screen back here? Because it is a rear window and by law, the government says we cannot do that. So just wanna give you a heads up on that. You do have nice ventilation over the head of your bed with a screen on that window. Uh, this bedroom, this unit, we do not have a bedroom television in it. However, we do put backers in your wall, uh, very similarly like we do to the uh, Odyssey 27U and the Esteem 27U. The difference is you're get, your dealer is going to have to install that television or you will. We have a coax cable hookup as well as a 120 volt outlet. Um, this bedroom, like I said, for a 24 foot coach, walk around bed, 120 volt outlets on both sides of your bed. You're able to install a television if you want. You have an overhead exhaust fan. There is a lot to love in this Integra Coach Odyssey SE 22C. There's a lot to love about this Integra Coach Odyssey SE. Though it is our base trim level, we are giving you a lot of amenities inside of this coach. And I wanna encourage you, uh, if you wanna find out more information on this coach, uh, contact your local dealer. Whether you're interested in finding out more about the 4,000 watt generator or, or maybe the air conditioner, or even uh, can I option leveling jacks on this? Yes, you can. Contact your local dealer and they'd love to help you out. On our website, IntegraCoach.com, we do have a dealer locator. Just enter your zip code and it will tell you who your closest dealer is. If you have more technical questions, I wanna encourage you, always feel welcome to call our factory. Ask for a regional sales manager. Uh, sometimes I, I get uh, voicemails left on my phone asking for me because I'm the guy who did the video. But quite honestly, there's only one of me, but we have numerous regional sales managers who know a lot about this product and I'd love to answer all your questions. Again, my name's Corey Weatherton. I'm the Director of Product Development for Integra Coach. I want to thank you for watching this video today on this Integra Coach Odyssey SE. Get down to your local dealer and check it out.